Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dr. Italo Brown here. Last week, we discussed health disparities, and I talked to you a little bit about the racial and ethnic implications of COVID-19. Well, today, I'm going to spend some time breaking down scarce resource allocation, and it's something that most of the major media outlets are not going to discuss in detail. And so, naturally, I got to come to you guys directly and share with you something that should be alarming, okay? We already understand that the majority of hospitals are operating near or at capacity. And if you've been paying attention to some of the dialogue about resources, we've had to go as far as shipping ventilators, that is breathing machines, things that help uh, the body uh, offload the work of breathing by a machine, like mechanical means. We've been shipping ventilators from the West Coast to the East Coast to try to support the fact that these hospitals are strained. They don't have the full capacity uh, and all the resources. In fact, most of the ICUs are literally being created or they're creating other ICUs than the standard ICUs that exist because of this resource issue. Well, let's just take it one step further. You know, when you have six patients who are critically ill and you have three ventilators you have to make a decision about who gets this and who doesn't. And that can be a heart-wrenching decision to make as a physician. So hospitals are using point systems or scoring systems to help doctors make that choice. It's supposed to be fair, supposed to be unbiased. But when I've looked at those scoring systems, there's a trend that comes up, right? It's based upon the survivability given pre-existing medical conditions. That's right. So your prior health issues will change their decision on whether or not you will live on a ventilator or whether or not it would even be advantageous to give you that ventilator. Where the problem lies is we already know that health disparities exist and that African-Americans are at a greater risk for having chronic issues. And they're more likely by the numbers to be walking around with known cardiovascular disease, known kidney disease, known lung dysfunction, having other medical issues that would potentially predispose them to poor outcomes. And so when you tell me that a scoring system is fair, that it doesn't see color, that it doesn't see uh, whether someone has money or someone is poor. But then you essentially create items in that list that see my color, that see that I've had a disadvantage. It's wrong. We have to be able to bring this to light in such a way that our Congress people understand this and that there is a broad expectation that states are equipping their hospitals with an equitable approach to vent allocation in the event of a scarce resource issue, all right? I know I told you a whole lot just now. I'm available, you can shoot me a DM, I will talk this to you, I will show you the articles where it's being discussed, I will tell you who you need to pay attention to in order to understand how this plays out. But the main thing is, we can't sit here and operate in silence, you guys. We know that lives are on the line. And those lives tend to look like our family members. 